continuing the success of Hamburg St. Baldrick's, the Sussex County Charter School for Technology held their own St. Baldrick's event. With the entire school watching and cheering, students and teachers shaved off or donated their hair to help fight children's cancer. We are here today to do St. Baldrick's Day at the Sussex County Charter School. Uh, to fight childhood cancer. Today was part two of St. Baldrick's Day. Um, Mr. Baldini contacted us a few weeks ago and he said he'd like to get the school involved and be a part of St. Baldrick's Day. And uh, amazingly, I showed up today and they had about 15 kids have their head shaved. They had two people do locks of love and they brought us over a thousand dollars to contribute to our total of already twenty-two thousand dollars that we raised on Saturday. We have uh, 15 uh, adults and students who are going to do it, and one student and one parent, uh, adult who will do uh, um, the locks of love. We're going to cut 10 inches off my hair to donate to uh, locks of love. Uh, my mother had lung cancer, and all of her hair when she was under chemotherapy fell out, so she had to buy a wig, um, and it was artificial. And it really does make a big difference if it's made of natural hair. I've kind of like feel good that I'm helping kids that are, are unfortunate to have cancer. I can't believe when I came in today the overwhelming response that we had and the amount of kids that shaved their head and again the amount of money that they brought in. In just last minute they brought in another fifty dollars to sponsor a teacher to have his head shaved and and it doesn't you know it doesn't bother them and, and they can do that you know unselfishly. I think it'll be fun. I, I did it last year and it was a lot of fun. People that wanted to help out this event, they didn't have to shave their heads, they could just donate money. Right? Certainly could. And we put our uh, dress down money toward this organization. This is my fourth year of being part of St. Baldrick's Day. Um, you came to see us last year, that was our third year. We were honoring two little boys and um, a five-year-old who's now in remission for a year. And unfortunately we just found out that the 13-year-old boy, Jason Van Arsdale, he had passed this week. Um, which made this year all the more meaningful and it's just great to have these kids participate and um, to listen to a few of them on why they did it today. It really touched home for some of them. The message of the charter school has always been to, to help the community out, to have people step up, and we try to do that as much as possible. This is just a, another example of what we're trying to do. Since we're a new school, like we are in our own building, I think that it's good that we're all going to do something to help the community. I think it makes us proud of what we've been able to give back to the community. We raised almost a thousand dollars for this one event, which I think is something to be proud of. St. Baldrick's isn't just a one-time year event. You can go to www.stbaldrick's.org and you can find information, you can find events in the area, you contribute at any time. The money goes back to research and it helps to find a cure for children's cancer. Great job to everyone at the school and the Hamburg Fire Department for helping fight against cancer. Coming up after the commercial break, the Candy Apple Shop. Stay tuned.